Hey, greetings, everyone. Uh, Glenn Calloway from the basement, start of another week. Um, pretty exciting week in the world of wrestling. WrestleMania from Philadelphia. They had like 72 to 73,000 people there times two, two nights. 140, 150,000 people, plus the NXT event, which drew the largest uh, uh, live audience they've ever had at 16,000. We're like 160,000 people attended wrestling events in uh, in Philly on the weekend. That's pretty cool. Uh, my girl Rhea Ripley re maintained her title, and uh, Cody Rhodes won the Universal title. So all is good in the wrestling world. Uh, who cares but me? Uh, anyway, um, this is a video about my uh, deep dive into the rabbit hole of British folk slash acoustic blues, country blues kind of thing, too. Um, let me start by showing you this. If anyone's interested in this whole genre of music, I am reading this book called Dazzling Stranger, Bert Yanch and the British Folk and Blues Revival by a gentleman by the name of Colin Harper. I've uh, Colin is a uh, active member of the Steve Hoffman Forms. He comments there and posts and everything he's an awesome dude and i have watched videos on youtube when he's getting interviewed about the work he's done uh in this genre of music and uh this book absolutely incredible i can't believe the detail i can't believe the history uh, names i've never heard of before and uh probably will never hear of again i it, it is a deep dive but really interesting read i'm loving this book and it's really like it's, you know, there's a lot of letters. Now I just lost my place. Um, anyway, fantastic read. Check it out if you're interested in that genre. Where did I start? I was, I was trying to think. Where did I really start with British folk music? Well, it had to start with one guy. It had to start with this gentleman right here, Donovan Leach, back in the 60s. Catch the Wind was his first song. And a uh, beautiful folk song, great song. One of my favorite songs of all time, actually. Uh, Donovan is uh, a great finger picker. Learned a lot of stuff from Bert Yanch and uh, that whole crowd. Uh, his name is uh, shows up in this book. But uh, Donovan would be uh, something that, uh, you know, I thought of him as a pop artist, I guess, back in the day. But uh, he was a folky, and... Uh, I got uh, a few Donovan albums. If anybody doesn't have any Donovan, this is one of the best greatest hits albums ever. Donovan's greatest hits. It sounds great too. It's awesome. Uh, some more stuff. I've got a uh, gift from a flower to a garden. The classics live. Donovan, one of my favorites. Okay. Uh, now next, I would have uh gotten into Fairport Convention. Uh not a fan of a lot of this British folk stuff back in uh the day, like in the sixties and seventies. It didn't interest me other than Donovan. Um and I wasn't even thinking the fact that, that bands like Led Zeppelin were actually borrowing from these people and some of the stuff like Black Wa Black Mountain side and and uh some of the other stuff that they did was very folky British folky related and inspired. Uh, but the next band I would have got into at some point and don't even know when would have been Fairport Convention. Uh, there is their debut album here. These guys are pretty good. Richard Thompson. Um, amazing stuff. Oh, what have we got here? Let's pull the thing out here. Maybe I can give credit to someone. There we go. We've got Judy Dibble, Simon Nicole, uh, Martin Lambeau, Richard Thompson, Ian McDonald, and Tiger Hutchings. Excellent band. This would be, well, I got two favorites of theirs. Unhalf Bricking, which is awesome. Uh, this is when Sandy Denny joined in. 
the great Sandy Denny again, Led Zeppelin, uh, Battle of Evermore, total British folk, that song, and Sandy Denny's guest appearance vocal on that is absolutely amazing. Um, this has Dylan's song, Percy's song on it, covered here. Uh, Million Dollar Bash is covered on here, which is, uh, if anybody's familiar with the basement tapes. Um, who knows where the time goes? Song that I knew from Judy Collins. I'm not sure who wrote it. Uh, another great Fairport Convention album is Liege and Leaf. This is, those two are really just neck and neck for excellent, excellent folky British folk albums. I don't know how else to call them, but Fairport Convention. The next band I probably would have bought something from is Renaissance, and this is their album Ashes Are Burning, which I think is considered probably their most popular album. Somebody can cr who's much more knowledgeable about this than me can comment on that, but uh, Renaissance is a pretty good album. It's not, they're, if I had to rate uh, all the British folk bands, these would probably be my least favorite of the one is Renaissance, but uh, it's still some good stuff on there. Um, okay, now the, the main thing that got me totally hooked on this was obviously getting into Burt Yanch, and um, this is fantastic. I, I er, strongly urge anybody who just likes great guitar playing, Bert and John, find yourself a copy of this CD or this record. Uh, unbelievable. I have it on uh, some of it. The same songs are on this album, Renburn and Yanch and uh thing so that's john renborn and bert yanch i mean just incredible playing this is like 90 percent uh instrumental acoustics but the two guitars i mean these guys are just phenomenal so um well worth checking those guys out um my bert yanch journey started with uh my friend jason who uh showed um these two albums on his channel, and then I went, I, I've always wanted to check out Bert Yance, i got to check him out. And then I found this two for CD, which is Bert's first album, which was recorded in, like, a guy's apartment. To get this guy, I forget how it worked, but the guy had a, a tape recorder, and he put up, like, eight cartons along in the room for soundproofing, and he would just push the button, and you would play. And that's Bert Yance's first album. It's uh, very intimate, beautifully played, beautifully guitar is fantastic Bert's vocals you would not rate Bert up in the top 10 vocalists of all time I'm not going to deny that but man he gets a song across what can I say and Jack O'Ryan which is an incredible album so that's a two for two for that's awesome I'm um then got myself into Pentangle because I needed to find out what the heck was going on and I bought this album Sweet Child so Sweet Child is a double album it's uh one album is in the studio, one is live. It's fantastic. I'm absolutely loving this album. It's it's great. I just picked up, which I think I showed in my last video, and I have had a chance to play this and absolutely loving it. Basket of Light. Uh, probably my favorite so far of the Pentangle albums. Uh, they do Sally Go Round the Roses. House Carpenter is fantastic. There's some sitar in this album, too, which is really cool. I, I think this is just an, a, a brilliant album, Basket of Light. Um, my other Pentangle albums are... Well, I guess there's one more here. History. I got a couple. Oh, that's... Why would I pull the wrong album? Pentangle History. I pulled up King Crimson Discipline. <laughs> they both have the same red cover. Um, from there, uh, Bert Yanch, I just picked up this incredible set. Oh, my God, this is unbelievably good. This Bert at the BBC. Wow. I just, I, I can't believe how amazing that is. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Um I had a chance to listen to these albums that I picked up. Uh, Santa Barbara Honeymoon and L.A. Turnaround. Oh, my God, again, just fantastic stuff, man. If you like folk music at all or you like acoustic music, do yourself a favor if you're not listening to this guy. It, it, I just, I'm blown away, absolutely blown. Last but not least, John Renborn, who was also a member of Pentangle. Uh, 
And Robin Williamson, who somebody told me was a founder of the band Incredible String Band, um, they put out an album together, John Renborn and Robin Williamson, called uh, Wheel of Fortune. And I uh, had a chance to listen to this. Pretty good record, too. Uh, I got a twofer, John Renborn. I haven't had a chance to listen to this yet. And I have listened to this one, Ship of Fools. This is very... Uh, uh, it's got a female vocalist, and uh, it's very, I mean, they're, I think the, all these people are Scottish, but it's, it's very Irish-sounding to me. I don't know. It's just, uh, but it's, uh, I'm not sure I'd like this one that much. I might have to give it a few more listens to see if I can get into it. Um, other John Renborn albums that I have picked up, John Renborn, The Black Balloon is really good. These guys are such great guitar players. That's the thing. A Made in Bedlam, I really enjoyed that album. And um, A Rare Conundrum from Burt Yanch was also a good album. So I am kind of just loving this journey. It's just been epic. Please let me know if you're into it, where I should go next, anything that uh, that you're into. Uh, my buddy, I want to give a shout out to Robert Hagerman. Robert's on my turntable. Robert had just got a box set of Steely S Steel Eye Span. I almost did the same thing, Robert Steely. Uh, Robert said he had to do his video three times. He kept calling them Steely Span. <laughs> it's like Steely Dan and Steel Eye Span. <laughs> anyway, Robert uh, did a whole thing on this box set and the records he has a Steel Eye Span. That's kind of where I'm probably heading next. Um, I put the box set in my cart, Robert. So uh, at Amazon, I'm not sure when I'm going to pull the trigger on it. It's probably going to the save for later pile until I get some money. And uh, yeah, everyone have a great day. Thumbs. Like I always say, you got two. I just want one. Just push that frickin' button, please. I'm begging you. Have a good day.